So currently, Trevor, you are just in normal H4. Okay, normal H4, which require, means that the front, center, and rear differentials are open. It's like a tap that's open. In this case here, Trevor, just go slowly forward. In this situation here, we've only got one wheel that is spinning. So firstly, the center differential detected that between the rear, the front and the rear axles, the rear axle has got less grip, okay, less traction. So this differential then transfers all the power only to the rear axle, because on the front axle, there's better grip. The differential on the rear axle detects that between the right and the left wheel, left wheel has got less traction. So this tap is open, all my power is coming only to this wheel. What you can do now is to lock the center differential. So center differential locked. Let's have a look at the wheels. Have a look on the right front wheel. So right front and left rear is spinning. So now because when I lock the center differential, 50% power front, this differential says, uh-uh, right wheel has got less traction. It sends all the power there. On the rear axle, the opposite happens. Okay. So I'm losing 50 plus 50%, I'm losing 100% of my possible traction. Okay. Simply because the power split is 50-50 and the differentials on the axles are still open. It's unlocked. Okay, look at the speed at which the wheels are turning. It's quite fast, eh? So now I've got, I went into four-wheel drive, high range with the center diff locked. Now I've still got an option of low range. When you go into low range, the center diff is locked in any case. Okay, so now I am in low range, four-wheel drive. Look how slow the wheels are turning. It's a massive reduction in speed. So what can I still do now? Lock the rear differential. Okay, there you hear that clack. That's a differential that engages. And now the two rear wheels are joined together. They cannot turn independently. Look at the departure angle at the back. Okay. And look how slow we do it. The golden rule is as fast as necessary, but as slow as possible. I continuously apply that principle. Okay, let's go around. What was this? You went on the slide first. Okay, we're going to go to the left. Don't go in that deep. That's oh, too okay. deep. Keep crawling forward and put it in first gear. So you're off road, so you're in first gear. We're in 2H. Let's see what happens. It's going, it's going slowly, it's slowly, very slowly. It's two wheel drive. Yeah. So now, what I want is, ah, that's two wheel drive. Okay, so if the, the back wheel's in the air. Yeah. Okay, so what can we do to fix that? That's your rear diff lock. There's your four wheel drive system. So click it into 4H. And? Diff lock on as well? No diff lock? No, no, no. And gently, very gently pull away. As gently as you can. Here we are, now the front wheel's pulling you. Creep forward, slowly. Your back wheel's right up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and your front wheel is busy digging a hole. Okay. So, what do you think we could do? Okay, so you can stick it into Close low range. range. Okay. Get more traction and then... Try low range. First gear. It's in first. Yeah. Now gently, keep the steering straight. Straight. Okay. Gently, gently, gently give power. More power, more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't back off. A little bit more. There, that's your traction control. Wild. That's your traction control. Okay, stop. That's your Suzu's traction control. Sure. It's so if you solid. kept going, she would dig her way out. It's help. It's helping any tire that's yeah. spinning. Whatever tire that's spinning, if the front wheel's spinning and the back's spinning and you kept giving power, the traction control will apply brakes to those wheels and it forces the, the power can't go to that wheel, the brakes are on, mm. it goes to the other wheel. Okay. But it's taking too long. Some cars are quicker. Yeah. So you go, well, hang on, let's make this easier. Put the rear diff on. Cool. Now gently pull away. It's got to turn a, f a, a one keep full revolution, and the back wheel will lock. Keep Slowly. the steering straight, yeah. Keep it straight. There. Stop. Oh my word. Okay, left. left. That's the difference. Left a bit. Follow Francois. Can I ease on the brake? Yes. To go slower. Yes, yes. Follow yeah. him. Follow him. Follow him. Turn the wheel that way. Yes. And click the back to flock off. 
through. Sweet. There's yeah. the difference of the Suzu traction control versus, versus the diff lock. Now, now we're going to try and drive through without putting anything on. We're going to change your line. We're not going to go in the hole. We're going to straddle the hole. Straight now, up. you're going to watch Francois. And whatever he shows you, you're going to steer. So it's very small movements. It's not yeah. this. It's yeah. ah, this. Okay, so go forward. Staying in first. Go forward. Stay in first. Stay in. Left a little bit. Left a little bit more. And then watch Francois. Now watch Francois. Okay. Okay. Now you just watch him. And you, you move your steering according to his ads. Watch him. Keep it just there. Just keep it there. Just keep it there. Left of it. There we go. Watch your hands. Straighten up. There. Keep it there. Left straight. Keep it straight. Watch him. Left of it. Left more. More. Small more. adjustments. <laughs> That's the side of the car. <laughs> That's getting through. No, keep it straight. Just keep it straight. Yeah. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs>